name, Jalen Hurd position, wide receiver school, Baylor Conference, Big 12 class, senior jersey, no. 5 Recruitment Rating, 4 Star HT, 6 Feet 4 Inches WT, 229 DOB, January 23, 96 Highlights, Highlights from Jalen Hurd Senior Season at Baylor Baylor WR Jalen Hurt Sr. 6, 5,230 pounds, all rights go to the Baylor University, ESPN, Fox Sports, Baylor Athletics, Universal Music Group, the Big 7 Conference, the Big 7 Media Network, and the NCAA. Before we get to know Jalen Hurd the player, I thought it would be a good idea to tell you a little bit about his background. Not only was he a four-star recruit coming out of high school, but he was also considered a top running back prospect, potential first-rounder, during his time at Tennessee. Despite being a highly touted RB prospect, he thought it was in his best interest to transform himself into a wide receiver in order to prolong his career. That was the driving force behind him transferring to Baylor. True to his word he reinvented himself from a 6 feet 4 inches, 240 pound RB to a 6 feet 4 inches, 229 pound WR, turning him into one of the more intriguing prospects in the entire 2019 draft class. Pros, putting aside everything he brings to the table as a running back Jalen Hurd actually checks all of the boxes for what NFL teams look for in a prototypical wide receiver. He has the desired size, speed, athleticism, and natural receiving ability to become a starter in the league. Even though he basically has just one year of experience at WR, you can really see the work he's put in to not only transform his body, but learn the nuances of his new position. I think that's a testament to his hard work and dedication. He is a natural hands catcher and easily snatches the ball out of the air with his 10 and an 8th inch hands has a large catch radius and has shown the ability to high point the ball in contested catch situations or go down low to secure the catch. Operated mostly out of the slot at Baylor, but has the ability to play on the outside as well. Shows loose hips and good change of direction ability on film, although he's never going to be considered a quick twitch athlete due to his size. is at his most dangerous after the catch when he immediately goes from WR to RB. More slippery than you'd imagine for a player his size. Tracks the ball well down the field and is fearless carrying his roots across the middle. His strength and the length make him a formidable blocker as well. Cons, as you would imagine, the majority of Jalen Hurd's cons are mostly due to the fact that he's new to the wide receiver position. Needs a clean release off the line of scrimmage, otherwise, he is too easily thrown off of his route. He will likely have to play out the slot until he is able to learn how to beat press coverage at the next level. With time that should improve though because he has the strength and the length to succeed. Hurt is still really raw as far as his football IQ and route running is concerned at his new position. needs to become more detail-oriented in regards to his stance, release, stem adjustments, and ability to read coverage. Shows pretty good footwork to get in and out of his breaks, but isn't what you would describe as springy. He is a long strider who can eat up a lot of ground quickly though. Cowboys fit, the Dallas Cowboys could be looking for someone to replace Cole Beasley's production on those short to intermediate routes. This is where Jalen Hurd will be the most effective until he can fine-tune some of the raw aspects of his game. He can be a mismatch player against linebackers, safeties, and nickel cornerbacks as a rookie due to his mere size and athleticism. Not only would he provide so much needed size and depth to the wide receiver position, but he could also contribute as a running back from time to time. Think of how the New England Patriots use Cordero Patterson as both a WR and RB. that could free up an extra roster spot that would have gone to a backup RB. He hasn't contributed a lot on special teams, but his background as a running back and his slipperiness in the open field could be useful as a punt and kick returner. Overall, Jalen Hurd is an intriguing prospect for the Dallas Cowboys. 
He's just starting to scratch the surface of his potential as a wide receiver, but in a year or two could be one of the better playmakers to come out of this draft class. This is someone the Cowboys will more than likely have participating at Dallas Day for local prospects which should put him on their radar if he isn't already. 2019 NFL Draft Baylor Bears Dallas Cowboys Jalen Hurd wide receiver The NFL scouting combine is only a few days away as on-field workouts will begin on Friday, March 1st. It's a special event for many draft fans and a time to discover great athletes and reliability. It's also an important opportunity for prospects to make their stock go way up, and sometimes watch it plummet. Personally, what I enjoy the most about the Combine is looking out for some relatively unknown names and see what they can do. A few weeks ago, NFL.com analysts Daniel Jeremiah and Lance Zerlian published an article on which player each team should be watching when the Combine kicks off. For the Dallas Cowboys, the name listed was defensive lineman LJ. Collier. During his time in college football, Collier lined up in a lot of positions for the TCU Horned Frogs. His production in 2018 was pretty solid, racking up 11.5 tackles for loss, 4 deflected passes and 6 sacks. He did this playing mainly as an edge defender but if the Dallas Cowboys consider him at some point in the NFL draft, they should probably look at him as a defensive tackle. Weighing in at 280 pounds, this is a legit way of looking at Collier. He's got the size and has played in the interior before. When Rod Marinelli was in Chicago, he managed to handle Henry Milton's transition from edge rusher to defensive tackle. Transitioning Collier from one position to the other could be an interesting possibility for the Cowboys. Collier still has a long way to go and he shouldn't be seen as a potential starter in the NFL. However, he could become an important rotational player at defensive tackle. I would be interested in his value as a pass rusher in obvious passing downs. Especially considering his impressive motor and just how competitive he is as a player. Collier will have to put on an impressive showing at the NFL scouting combine if he wants to climb those rankings, though. Many scouts are concerned about his burst and flexibility and for good reason. Watching the film, he's not what you want in a pass rusher. I believe he wouldn't have a good time playing on the edge on Sundays. He'll have a chance to change some minds in Indianapolis. I'd expect Collier to be drafted in day 3 of the 2019 NFL Draft. I'm convinced that as a late fourth round pick he'd be able to contribute for some NFL team as a rotational player. For the Dallas Cowboys, defensive tackle is one of the most pressing needs heading into next season. A need that should be addressed before the fourth round but could still be benefited from a player like Collier. Although the Dallas Cowboys won't be on the clock in the first round of the 2019 NFL Draft, they essentially invested their first pick in Amari Cooper. However, wide receiver remains a need for the team, especially with Cole Beasley heading for free agency. Out of West Virginia, wide receiver David Sills is an interesting potential target for Dallas. A quarterback turned wide receiver story, Sills is one of those guys who constantly shows up when you watch his football team play. That's what you want in a receiver. Let's dive in. During his time playing for the West Virginia Mountaineers, David Sills was a scoring machine. He scored 35 career touchdowns, 15 in 2018, 18 in 2017, and caught over 980 yards in each of his two seasons as a starter. The Big 12 is known for its lack of good defensive backs, which will naturally raise skepticism when discussing how good Sills really is but it shouldn't. Sills is 6 foot 4 and weighs 210 pounds. His frame is constantly criticized but thanks to his size and his excellent ability to high point the football that shouldn't be an issue. He's one of the best in this draft class when it comes to 50-50 to -50 jump balls. He shines the most, as a vertical threat, including over the middle of the field, which should be an interesting trait for the Dallas Cowboys. Throughout his career, he was almost indefensible when given the opportunity at deep over-the-shoulder passes. 
Although he doesn't have the best acceleration, Sills' build-up speed can be lethal for opposing defensive backs. Paired with this is his skill to adjust for deep balls, slowing down when necessary to take on defenders. What I personally like the most about Sills is his play in goal line situations. Whether it's playing inside on a slant or running a fade route, the Mountaineer wide receiver surely made a lot of opposing defenses suffer. Thanks to his background as a quarterback, his understanding of defensive coverages is pretty solid. He manages to find the defense's soft spots and get open constantly. But why isn't he valued as a top prospect on this year's NFL Draft? Well, unfortunately, there are a few reasons for this. First off, David Sills had some problems in the drops department. He has plenty of body catches that aren't necessary. When balls weren't on target, he often didn't make the play despite counting with a pretty good catch radius. He can greatly improve in his route running abilities and he was challenged by true press corner box, struggling to release early. For the Dallas Cowboys, Sills could be a solid contributor as a vertical threat and in the red zone, where the offense struggled so much last season. With the class being quite loaded at wide receiver this year, Sills should be a realistic target even in the fourth round. The Dallas Cowboys will receive an extra fourth round pick in the 2019 NFL Draft after the league awarded compensatory picks today. The pick will be 136th overall, which is one spot below where Dallas drafted Dak Prescott in 2016. And in other news, NFL awarded compensatory draft picks today, Patriots and Rams each received two third-round picks. The full list, per sources, we have Anthony Hitchens to thank for this extra pick. The former Cowboys linebacker signed a five-year, $45 million deal with the Chiefs last offseason which far surpassed any of the deal that Dallas made with their own free agent acquisitions. Only free agents whose contracts expired, not those released in the offseason by their previous team, count towards the compensatory pick formula. Therefore, Alan Hearns' deal was not a mitigating factor. As mentioned already, the fourth round of the NFL draft recently gave Dallas its starting quarterback. Other notable fourth-round picks in the modern era have been Hitchens, Doug Free, Marion Barber, and Chris Canty. Last year, Dallas drafted the Durant Armstrong and Tay Dalton Schultz with fourth-round picks. Already short their first and sixth-round picks this year from previous trades, the Cowboys are certainly happy to have this extra selection for April's draft.